Welcome back to our knee ligament series, guys. In this video, we will be discussing the posterior cruciate ligament, also known as the PCL. The PCL does the exact opposite of the ACL. It helps prevent the shin bone or the tibia from moving too far backward on the thigh bone. And it does have some rotational uh, stability properties as well. The PCL classically is injured by a force that hits the front of the shin bone and forces it backwards on the thigh bone. But there's other ways that this can happen as well. Uh, fortunately, uh, many injuries to the PCL can be treated non-surgically, but it is important to have an accurate diagnosis for this. And uh, so a good examination can help determine the degree of the injury to the knee, uh, just how bad the laxity or the looseness resulting from the ligament injury actually is. And this has, uh, and this information is important when deciding what uh, actual treatment should be. Um, severe injuries to the PCL are often associated with other ligaments to the knee. So again, a good exam uh, and even some special x-rays known as stress x-rays help really precisely uh, identify the uh, ligament injury pattern which of course determines what the optimal treatment will be. And so in this video, we'll go over the anatomy, uh, the function of the PCL, uh, and hopefully you guys find this helpful. Once again, here's our knee model, and we are going to talk about the PCL, which does the opposite of the ACL. So if you recall, the ACL attaches to the front of the knee, which is why it's called the anterior cruciate ligament. The PCL attaches to the back. So we rotate this all the way around. So we're looking at the back of the knee. The PCL is right here. So it attaches to the back of the shin bone and it runs forward back through this notch between these two structures called the condyles. And then it attaches to the front of the knee right up in here. And so the PCL prevents predominantly posterior translation of the shin bone on the femur. So it prevents backwards motion on the femur like this. So you can imagine if, if an individual is struck right here on the front of their knee, this is gonna force the shin bone backwards and that will result in a tear of the PCL. So if I can move this out the way, you can see the shin bone moves backwards. And then you can see right here, if I can hold the model, you see how this will strain this ligament. And so of course, if there's too much force going backwards, the PCL will rupture. 